Good evening. We would like to welcome you to the 2018 Highest Honor Ceremony. I am Kristen Witt, Director of Secondary Ed for the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District, and it is my honor this evening to announce that Norbert Jason Villaluna from the Fairfield High Scarlet Brigade will lead in tonight's Highest Honors students. We will now have the presentation of colors by the Public Safety Academy Honor Guard. And please remain standing for both the national anthem, the Pledge of Allegiance, and until the honor guard exits the floor. I would now like to welcome Hazel Gloria and Celia Lucero from Rodriguez High School that will be leading us in the national anthem. Twilight's last 
queening, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs burst I would now like to welcome all of our valedictorians to join me on the stage to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. That is Mohammed Buksh from Armio High School, Jasmine Reyes, Armio High School, Jeremy Good, Early College High School, Joel Perez, Early College High School, Blanca Teodoro, Fairfield High School, Lariz Pineda, Public Safety Academy, and Amon Bajwa Rodriguez High School. These are our valedictorians. Please join me on the stage. Thank you, you may be seated. I would now like to welcome our superintendent, Ms. Chris Corey, to the podium. Welcome to one of our very favorite events of the year, honoring these academic scholars and who are really the highlight, and this is really one of the highlights of our year to do that. We can't even imagine what a 4.0 many of us going throughout high school would be like. We have some really important people in the crowd to introduce, and that is you parents. Parents, please stand so we can recognize you. We know that their brilliance came from you, and so we do thank you for um, giving your children to us. We also have our board president, David Isom, our board vice president, Jody Honeychurch, board members, Jonathan Richardson, John Silva, Bethany Smith, and Chris Wilson. 
We are so pleased to have our two mayors in the crowd. We have the mayor of Fairfield, Mayor Harry Price, and our mayor of Sassoon City, Mayor Pete Sanchez. From our Chamber of Commerce, we have our CEO and President, Debbie Tavey, representing Supervisor Skip Thompson, Adrian Patterson, our County Board of Supervisors, Monica Brown, for our State Assembly member, Jim Frazier, we have Caitlin Costa. For John Garamendi, U.S. Uh, representative, we have John Eval. And I think representing um, Senator um, Kamala Harris, we have Sheila McCabe, who is going to be presenting for her. She's also our assistant superintendent. <laughs> From our Solano County Office of Education, we have our board members, Dana Dean and Maureen Bates. And we have Sassoon Mayor Pro Tem, Lori Wilson. And I have not yet seen Lisette. I think she's on her way, or um, County Superintendent Lisette Estrella Henderson. Um, I also just want to introduce and recognize our high school principals. It's a very difficult job, and we're so thrilled to have these leaders. We have John Pizzo, who's our early college high school principal. Assistant Principal Lisa Davis is sitting in for Sheila Smith. From Rodriguez High School, Clarence Isidore. From Fairfield High School, Dr. Will Cushman. And from our Public Safety Academy, Lori Halcom. We um, just want to once again welcome you all, and I know you'll sincerely enjoy this evening. Thank you. I would now like to welcome our board president, Mr. David Isom, to the podium. Good evening. I wanted to um, share with you that you're so important that my mom, flew in, and my sister from Memphis, Tennessee, to celebrate you. Mom and Carolyn, y'all stand up. Okay, I lied. Okay. All right. All right. They're, they're, they're not here to celebrate you. They're, they're here to celebrate me, because I'm graduating Saturday. Um, yeah. But we're all familiar with acronyms, um, and as such, I wanted to share my words with you this evening using letters contained in highest honors as a challenge and a charge to each one of you. H, humility. Walk in it. I, integrity. Practice it. G, gratitude. Maintain it. H, honesty. Embrace it. E, empathy. Display it. S, sanity. Keep it. <laughs> T, trustworthy. Be it. And then honors. Have an optimistic, never quit outlook, remembering these things make you successful. Congratulations. I would now like to welcome Fairfield Mayor Harry Price to the podium to give you a few words of encouragement. You're going to hear this more than once tonight, but all the accolades that you're receiving are richly deserved. And with this booming economy of ours, the world is ready for you to solve the problems that some of us have created. And I have the greatest confidence in the world that you're going to make your place 
a memorable one for all Americans. And as you leave here this evening, know full well that you competed honestly, you competed with integrity, and you competed with fervor. Do well, but I'd ask one question, please. Don't forget the importance of empathy for those who desperately need it. Congratulations, you did well, thank you. I would now like to welcome Sassoon City Mayor Pete Sanchez to the podium for a few words of encouragement. Well, if there was a memo for one minute speeches, I did not get it. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, outstanding students, educators, parents, relatives, and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. I always look forward to this event to address you, academic scholars of Fairfield and Susun City Schools. I hope you always remember that your successes are not only due to your hard work and sacrifices, but also due to the limitless patience of your teachers and school administrators, the boundless love and care and guidance from your parents, siblings, and friends, and the full support of the Fairfield Susun City homeowners who always voted for property taxes <laughs> to bring you new schools, new libraries, new sports facilities, and the latest technologies to make you the outstanding students that you are here today. Give them a big, big hand. <laughs> today, I pray for your solid foundation of knowledge, love, and religion guide you in your chosen careers. May all your future successes keep you humble, eager to serve the less fortunate, and willing to help save our beautiful planet Earth. I have a very personal interest in your successes. I want you to be successful either as a scientist or doctor or pilot or lawyer or business owner because as you can contribute a part of your big salaries to social security, <laughs> I can keep drawing my $2,000 monthly check from social security. <laughs> that is until the next 40 years, until I reach age 107. <laughs> In the past, I always uh, want to think about a movie that can relate to graduates as scholarly as you, one time I quoted the words terrific, terrific, terrific from Charlotte's Web, but today I will not quote anything, but I want to associate you to the upcoming movie, The Incredibles. <laughs> this year I turned 67. I was 17 when I finished high school in 1967. You might be wondering, why am I saying this? There is, there is a sanity to this thing if you will just uh, bear with me. I have worked in my, in at least with my seventh employer, the Susun City. I have also lived in several homes and I live now in my seventh residence. When I moved to this country in 1980, the exchange rate was one dollar to seven pesos. Now, what is the connection? Well, I checked my wallet today and I have seven $100 bills. Uh, let me check to be sure. <laughs> yes. So for those of you, you might uh, want to get out for whatever reason during the calling of the awards. Just don't miss the calling of the last seven because the last seven awardees from the drawing will get each $100 from me. I know I will at least get one applause when I mention money. <laughs> so that's where I end. Congratulations. And now the time that we've all been waiting for, the reading of the names and recognition of our amazing student scholars standing before us. 
I would like to start the reading of the names by welcoming Assistant Principal Lisa Davis from Armio High School to the podium. <laughs> Melanie Acuna. Her high school highlights include going to prom with her friends and highest honors. She's attending UC Davis with plans to enter the medical field, possibly in pediatrics. Kareem Aljamal, his high school highlights include completing IB. He's planning to attend UC Santa Cruz to major in biomedical engineering and, do it, and interested in doing interesting research. Hala El Khatib, her high school highlights include volunteering in special education track Olympics, track and cross country. She plans on attending UC Davis and entering a career in psychology or speech pathology. Kirsten Anderson, her highlights include being on the golf team, leadership, leadership, track special ed. She plans on attending University of Nevada and majoring in international business. Kaylin Ateogi, her high school highlights include winning the Mel's for women's soccer four years in leadership and homecoming skits. She plans on attending UC University of San Francisco to major in biology and become a pediatrician. Thank you. Okay. Risham Alec, his high school, her, her high school highlights include cross country, track and field, speech and debate, National Honor Society and Link Crew. She plans on attending UC Davis and majoring in biomedical sciences to become a doctor. Amin Bajwa. Her high school highlights include student leadership in ASB, Feminist Club, Interact Club, Journalism. Next year she plans on attending UCLA and plans on having a career in business management or music or the entertainment industry. Michael Barrera. His high school highlights include finding great friendships and getting great experiences. He plans on attending Brigham Young University so that he can have a stable job and provide for his family. Jessalyn Belk, her high school highlights include prom, clubs, and being published in the Daily Republic. She plans on attending UC Berkeley and exploring California and eventually becoming a school counselor or therapist. Karin Veer Benipal. His high school highlights include being on the track team and being an IB. He plans on attending UC Santa Barbara and becoming a software engineer. Talia Benning. Her high school highlights include four years of color guard. She plans on attending UC Irvine to become a psychologist or psychiatrist. Adriana Bernal. Her high school highlights include winning Mel Women's Soccer 2017 the historic semifinals run in 2018 playoffs, and leadership. She plans on attending UCLA and majoring in social science to eventually have a career in public or social service, helping the socio socioeconomically disadvantaged communities. Ashley Boyd, four years of theater and three years of JORTC are her highlights. She plans on attending UC Davis and majoring in psychology with the goal of becoming a clinical or child psychologist. Charlotte Brennan Crowley. Her high school highlights include leadership all four years, ASB, playing varsity tennis all four years, winning Mel All League. She plans on attending University of Colorado Boulder and becoming a biomedical engineer. Cassidy Brown. Her highlights include leadership, winning ASB elections, captain of the volleyball team. Next year, she plans on attending UC Irvine in nursing and becoming a labor and delivery nurse. Julian Brown. <laughs> Julian's high school highlights include cross country track in the tennis team, passing IB physics with a five, and the robotics championships. He plans on attending UC Irvine and majoring in aerospace engineering with the goal of becoming an engineer that pushes humanity to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Shireen Buksh. His high school highlights include playing for the soccer team. And next year, he's planning to attend UC Davis to become a neurosurgeon. 
Angel Cano. Angel's high school highlights include Powder Puff and helping plan school dances, rallies, and community service events. Next year, he plans on attending UT, UC Davis to become a mechanical engineer. Ashley Carver. Her high, her high school highlights include leadership and taking anatomy. Next year, she plans to go to Solano Community College to major in nursing and become a nurse practitioner. Carla Castro. Her high school highlights include Powder Puff, class president and class vice president, and varsity soccer. Next year, she plans on attending San Diego State University to become an immigration lawyer. Mia Castro. Her high school highlights include vice president of Key Club for two years and playing four years of volleyball and one year of basketball. She plans on attending UC Irvine Biological Sciences to become an ophthalmologist. Ruth Cervantes. Woo! Next year, she plans on attending college to become an analytical chemist. Vanya Sesmus. Her high school highlights include volunteering at the MS Muck Fest, raising money with Key Club for Children, learning what's most important when diagnosed with arthritis. Next year, she plans on attending UC Davis Animal Science to become a veterinarian and animal advocate. Jessica Chavez. Next year, she plans on attending Solano Community College to transfer to UC Davis and working with land and aquatic animals. Derek Chen. His high school highlights include robotics experiences and learning. Next year, he plans on attending San Diego State University to become an engineer or teacher. And now here is John Pizzo, principal of Early College. Robert Clark, Jr. Robert's highlights are marching band, freshman and sophomore year sports, and the Battle of Armio. He plans to go to college next year and be a computer programmer, cybersecurity, or music. Emma Clausen. Emma's high school highlights are four years of marching band, jazz band, girls golf, executive member of the National Honor Society. She'll be attending BYU, and her career goal is to possibly help others throughout the world using chemistry. Chantel Corsia. Chantel plans to go to a four-year university, major in engineering. Her career goal is to be a mechanical engineer, possibly in Japan. Joshua Costa. Joshua's highlights are being a sound operator for the school musical, the drama club, the poetry club, and Club 180. He'll be attending the California Maritime Academy, and his career goal is to be a captain of a ship as well as a music, musician composer. Grace Curry. Grace highlights are laughing with friends along the way. Next year, she'll attend Forham University. Her career goal right now, she says she's got no clue. Danielle Davison. Danielle's school highlights are being in leadership, playing on the Rodriguez High volleyball team. Next year, she'll be attending UC Davis with a career goal of being a plant biologist. Christina Del Mundo. Christina's highlights are cross country, track, leadership, key club, Filipino club, and giving back to the community. She'll be attending UC Santa Cruz and her career goal is to mark, be a marketing agent and traveling the world. Guadalupe Elias. Guadalupe's highlight is attending the IB program. Next year she'll be attending Solano Community College with a career goal of being a nurse or a doctor. Adam Ingle Sorelli. Yeah. 
Adam's school highlights are being in the band, playing tennis, economics, thanks to Mr. Cedar. Next year he plans to go to UC Davis to major in economics, and his career goal is to earn the financial ability to have fun. Ivan Joshua Esperatu. <laughs> Ivan's school highlights are clubs and school events like homecoming, prom, teachers and friends. Next year he'll be attending community college and he'll transfer to either UC Davis or UCLA. His goal is to become a computer engineer. Christine Ferhardo. Christine's school highlights are being the cheer captain and maintaining good grades. Next year, she'll be attending Solano Community College and plans to transfer to a UC and, and study biology and be pre-med and go into dentistry. Morgan Ashley Feliciano. Morgan's school highlights are being an IB, the biology trip to the marsh for a research project, Next year, she plans to go to UC Davis to study anesthesiology. David Flores. <laughs> David's school highlights are participating in leadership. He'll be attending UC Irvine to study biological science, and his career goal is to be a physician. Cassie Garza. Her highlights are playing soccer and tennis, and the homecoming skits with friends. Next year, she'll attend UCLA, study biochemistry, and she wants to be a dentist or an orthodontist. Jeremy Good. <laughs> Jeremy Good's highlights are being the team captain of the cross country team. Next year, he plans to attend, he'll be attending West Point Military Academy, and his career goal is to be a United States Army officer. Andrea Gutierrez. Andrea's school highlights are the pet band at football games, marching in parades in Disneyland, Memphis, and San Diego. Next year, she'll attend Napa Valley College, and her career goal is to be a film score composer. Diana Gutierrez Sandoval. Her school highlights are being a safe school ambassador for four years and playing varsity soccer. She'll be attending Sacramento State University to study to be a veterinarian. Sohail Hakarat. His school highlights are prom, powder puff, and vex robotics. Next year, he'll go to UCLA to study chemistry. His career goal is to be an emergency medicine physician. Sarah Hobson. Her school highlights are passing college level chemistry and English and being voted as the vice president of the early college senior class and earning her associate's degree. Next year she'll attend UC Davis and her career goal is to be a field re researcher in the biodiversity and environmental science. Caleb Hoko. <laughs> Caleb's school highlights are wrestling and passing all the AP exams. Next year, he'll attend UC Davis, study electrical engineering with a career goal to be a solar electrical design. And now, here is Dr. Will Cushman, principal of Fairfield High. Next up is Lee Hull. <laughs> Highlights include varsity soccer for four years, caretaker of a mentally challenged woman with cerebral palsy. She'll be attending UC Santa Barbara uh, with a major in linguistics and minor in Spanish uh, to work in the medical setting as a speech language pathologist. Arnoldo Ibarra. His highlights include being able to stay in IB classes for this long. He'll be attending Solano Community College to stay out of debt and with a career goal of a stark, uh, stock market investor with many servants. Jessica Eisen. Highlights include basketball games with friends and prom. She'll be attending UC Davis 
with a major in environmental toxicology. She's unsure what she wants to do, but she wants to better the environment and create more sustainable ways to live. Margot Juan. <laughs> Highlights include three years of varsity badminton, president of the Filipino club and a safe school ambassador. She'll be attending Solano Community College and studying biological science to be a general surgeon. Harmon Carr. <laughs> Highlights include leadership, planning events for PSA. She'll be attending UC Davis in studying managerial economics. She's going to use economics to connect creative ideas with business practices. Ekram Koram. He did track for two years and he is vice president of the French club. He'll be attending UC Davis, uh, studying bio sci pre-med to become a pediatric doctor. Galen Kimball. Yeah. Highlights include qualifying three robots for uh, world championships. He'll be attending UC Berkeley and studying electrical engineering and computer sciences. Madison Kudis. Highlights include leadership, soccer, and golf. She'll be stu uh, studying international business at Cal Poly to become a business analyst. Riley Lanza. <laughs> Highlights include water polo team, swim team, and being ASB secretary. She'll be attending UC Santa Barbara and becoming an anesthesiologist. Mayan Lay. Highlights include being a drum major for the Armio Super Band. She'll be attending UC Davis to become a doctor. Rachel Alexandra Levon. <laughs> Highlights include cross country, the REU Disneyland field trip, and prom. She'll be attending UC Davis. No specifics yet, but wants to help others. Sienna Lacauzi. Highlights include sports team bonding and a band trip to Disneyland. She'll be attending University of Nevada, Reno to study biochemistry. She'll be becoming a uh, lawyer or defense attorney. Adelina Liu. <laughs> Highlights include collaborating with others for a more eco-friendly environment and publishing articles for the early college uh, high school uh, newspaper and golf matches. She'll be joining sports and community service clubs at her school when she attends to become an anesthesiologist or trauma nurse. Tess Lindau. <laughs> Highlights include the swim team league titles, a sister city ambassador to Japan, and being in the Solano County Honor Band. She'll be attending Valparaiso University in Indiana, studying engineering to become an electrical engineer and meteorologist working in environmental sustainability. Steven Lura. <laughs> Highlights include being in the marching band and going to see the Hamilton musical and playing on the tennis team. He'll be attending Azusa Pacific University and studying applied mathematics to become a statistician. Janelle Mangaling. Highlights include dancing and making backdrops for homecoming, leadership, she is, and she is the president of the College and Career Club. She'll be attending UCLA and studying biochemistry. She wants to uh, work in healthcare. Venera Chalice Mandanas. <laughs> Highlights include the wrestling team, volunteering for clubs, and getting accepted into college. She got accepted into UC Davis where she'll be studying civil engineering and to become a civil engineer. Joshua Mariano. <laughs> Highlights include joining Key Club and learning a new language. He'll be attending Holy Names University to serve the community as a doctor. Natalia Marin. <laughs> Highlights include making memories with friends. She'll be attending UC Davis and studying a uh, to work in the medical field. Okay. Michaela Martinez. <laughs> Highlights include playing soccer and winning two MEL championships. She'll be studying at Concordia University in Nebraska, 
uh, to work to, in traveling around the world and helping people. Nathaniel Martinez. <laughs> Highlights include Robotics Club State Finals and his STEM classes. He'll be attending UC Davis and studying computer science and engineering with a career goal of computer programming and working in artificial intelligence. Wendy Martinez Castaneda. <laughs> Highlights include cross-country team traveling to Texas for the World Robotics Championship. She'll be attending UC Davis and studying in the, uh, to become a business manager. Olivia Matsumoto Elliott. <laughs> Highlights include creating high school's first magazine uh, sophomore year. She'll be attending UC Davis to study chemistry as pre-med student to become a pediatrician. Rita Mayorga. <laughs> Highlights include cross country and track races like Woodbridge Inter Invitational. She'll be studying at Chico State to become a pediatric nurse practitioner. With that, I'd like to welcome to the stage Lori Halcom, principal of the Public Safety Academy. Next, we have Arena McSweeney. Her school highlight was karaoke night, where she and her best friend absolutely killed Justin Bieber's baby. She, she plans to go to Emerson College in Boston to study media arts production, and she will major in film production and directing. Nicholas Mendoza. His, his highlight is being captain of the Armio wrestling team. He will travel to San Jose State University to major in software engineering with a career goal of software engineer. <laughs> Sydney Mins. Her school highlights are leadership, volunteering in Special Olympics, and homecoming skits. She will be going to CSU Chico to major in pre-nursing and hopes to become a nurse practitioner. Jason Mosier. His highlights are cross country and baseball teams and powder puff football. He will spend two years on a mission for the LDS Church, then go to UCLA, and he plans to find work that he enjoys to support his family. Jada, Jada Marie Calabosa Navasca. Her school highlights are cross country and track and leadership. She plans to go to UC Irvine and become a video game designer. Paul Nosbish. His highlights are Armio Robotics, Halsey's engineering class. He is going to UC Berkeley, and his career goal is chemical and nuclear engineer. Christopher Oy. His highlight is getting a 1480 on the SAT and 35 on the ACT and winning Vex Robotics competition. He will be going to UC Merced to major in computer science and he hopes to work for a major tech company like Google or Apple. Nathaniel Oriarty. His highlights are finishing the IB program, participating with the cross country team for all four years, going to state with the cross country team junior year and volunteering at the Muck Fest. He will be going to UC Santa Cruz and will become a lawyer. Anika Patel. Her school highlights are establishing a crochet club, being a camp counselor, karaoke nights, summer program with the city of Fairfield IT department. She will go to UC Davis to major in computer science and engineering, and her career goal is possibly software development and cyber security or DJing. <laughs> Anthony Perez. His school highlights are his friends. 
Next year's plans are to go to Diablo Valley College and his career goal is to be an engineer. Joaquin Marie Perez. His school highlights were going to Disneyland with the marching band and playing tennis. He will be going to UC Davis to study microbiology and hopes to become an immuno, immuno, immunologist. Sorry, <laughs> that was a tongue twister. Okay. Kailana Pomavongsa. Her highlight was that she accidentally ended up watching an Armio soccer game. She plans to go to UC Santa Cruz to study psychology and become a psychologist. Larise Pineda. Her school highlights are powder puff football and community service. She will be going to Solano Community College and then transfer to Sacramento State University to study nursing. And she wants to become a nurse to serve others. Gabriella Petosny. Her school highlights are women's tennis team. She will be going to UCLA to study neuroscience and she hopes to become a doctor working in a clinic. Joshua Purvis. His school highlights are being part of the drumline for four years with two jam championships, drum major, marched in Disneyland, San Diego, and Memphis, Tennessee. He will go on a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, then to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. His goal is to find what career he truly loves and in earn a living doing that. Elayla Kidit. Her school highlights for dropping IB and making memory with friends. Next year's plans are to get money and travel, and her career goal is to be an entrepreneur. Is this Jose? Jose Ramirez Martinez. His highlights are powder puff football and homecoming floats. He plans to go to UC Santa Cruz and become an entrepreneur starting a technology company. Jasmine Reyes. Her school highlights are four years of tennis, the campus club culture, and powder puff. She's going to Georgia Institute of Technology to study biomedical engineering and hopes to become a bioengineer. Lindsay Reyes. Her school highlights are four years of varsity vol volleyball playing with her sister and cousin and her challenging IB courses. She will be going to Sacramento State to study nursing and become a nurse. Nicole Reyes. Her highlights are four years of varsity volleyball and junior homecoming princess. She will be going to the Oregon Institute of Technology in Klamath Falls to study mechanical engineering and will become a mechanical engineer for Chevron. Elias Rojas Cardenas. His highlights are varsity football as a sophomore and drifting in a Prius. Next year's plans are going to Solano Community College and um, he wants to forget what it's like to be poor. No, are you? Kiana Marie Sabugo. Her school highlights are leadership and ASB officer. She will be going to UC Santa Barbara and she will be a neuropharmacologist or a professional ice cream enthusiast. Ahmad Saeed. His school highlights are meeting new people and track and field. He's going to college to try new things and he wants to become an entrepreneur and start a new company. And now here is Clarence Isidore, principal of Rodriguez High School.
Good evening. And now, Keely Sorrell. She will be studying, she's been doing cheerleading for three years and memories made in those girls. Going to Sonoma State University and wants to be a registered nurse. Juan Silva Omido. Cross country, track and field, tennis, marching band, Liberty Church volunteer. Going to UC Merced and wants to be a pediatrician. Joshua Smith. Armio varsity swim team and key club. Going to CSU Long Beach for nursing. Registered nurse with a master's degree. Nandi Smith. Her school highlights are cheering for football games. She'll be going on to Sacramento State University for anthropology. She wants to be an anthropologist and museum curator. Trinity So. She's been taking college classes, graduating from high school with two associate degrees. She'll be going on to UC Davis, mechanical aerospace engineering, and wants to be a metronomics engineer. Yusef Shrau. His highlights are performing at Rochella, beating Mr. Lovinger at tennis, and meeting the people now I call as my best friends. He'll be going on to UC Santa Barbara and wants to be a clinical psychologist. Anton Stay Maria. His highlights are making it to CIF State. Right now, his plans, he is not sure, but wants to be an environmental engineer. Next, Samantha Stanley. Her highlights are four years water polo. Her next year's plans are Cal Poly Pomona, Kellogg Honors, and College Biology, and wants to ma major in the medical field of pediatrics. Kathleen Tran. School highlights are <laughs> girls golf team at Armio and her teammates. Next year's plans are going on to UC Davis. And wants to be a fashion designer. <laughs> Kaylin Tabasa. There you go. Her school highlights are cheering for rivalry basketball games. Her next year's plans are UC Davis and majoring in political science. And her career goal is California Senator. Our next candidate is Bianca Teodoro. Blanca Teodoro. School highlights are Fairfield Percussion, Ensemble, and Scarlet Brigade, performing at Disneyland, San Diego, and Memphis, Tennessee. Next year's plans are UC Berkeley, biochemistry, and molecular biology. Career goal, pediatrician, and music composer. Our next student is Jeremy John Terrell. School highlights are Key Club President. Next year's plans is college, and career goal, a medical professional. And next, Robert Thompson. School highlights are four years varsity golf, created Armio Stanzas and Poetry Club, and next year's plans, UC Irvine, film and media, and career goal, writer, creative director, director of photography, or a general director of films. Next, 
Ezekiel Benedict Tortol. <laughs> School highlights are marching band and tennis. Freshman history, teacher, Mr. Burks, greatly inspired me. And next year's plans, UC Santa Barbara as a computer engineer. Noelle Marie Trost. <laughs> school highlights, Armeo Super Band and school clubs. Next year's plans, Uni University of the Pacific, Biology Music, Pre-Med Central. Avni Upadai. <laughs> school highlights are Miss Hernandez Photo One class, going to Germany with Frau Aiton's AP German class, and next year's plans, UC Davis for pre-med. Her career goal is an infectious disease specialist. And next, Daisy Valle. <laughs> school highlights, leadership, school events like community holiday. And next year's plans, Sacramento State University, and career goal, pediatric nurse in hospital or clinic. Alejandro Vera. His school highlights are leadership events like A-Team Games, Community Holiday, and SPED Track Day. Next year's plans, University of Rochester in New York as a pre-med major. Next, Anshika Wadera. School highlights, North Bay Hospital volunteer, soccer player, and mentor to younger students, first aid and CP certified, and top three in class. Next year's plans, UC Davis and pre-med. Career goal, doctor that works with children. And next, Zachary Wahid. School highlights, part of the first team in Armio history to go to the California State Meet and perform at Armio Music Fest and completed IB program. Next year's plans, UC Santa Cruz, biological sciences, and career goal, pediatrician or biology teacher. And next, Abigail Wolf. School highlights, winning MEL in soccer and cross country. Next year's plans, University of Pacific and playing soccer. Career goal, physical therapist. Next, Mindy Wong. School highlights are clarinet section leader, winter percussion, captain of the Solano County Honor Band, and next year's plans, UC Davis, biochemistry and human anatomy, and career goal, OBGYN. And last, but not least, Laura Wood. Her school highlight, she was part of the Gay Straight Alliance for four years and did sports for all four years. Her next year's plans are UC Santa Barbara, pre-psychological, and brain sciences. And her career goal is a social worker. Let's give everybody a round of applause. I just want to say on behalf of the whole Fairfield Sassoon community how proud we are of you. Please go out, do great things, and come back home to serve. Thank <laughs> you.